between Quincy Public Schools over their mandatory mask policy and required temperature checks for students returning to school. WGEM's Blake Salmon has been following this story and is live tonight in Quincy with more. Blake. Dylan, that's right. According to these court documents, Ronnie Quinn says the new requirements will cause irreparable damage to her and her fourth grader because they infringe on her child's right to get an in-person education, even if they choose not to wear a mask. But public health experts say if there's a real danger if kids return to the classroom this fall, even if the virus is still unchecked. Like, Despite every effort that that uh, all of the districts are putting in place and the best recommendations, there's a reality that it will be hard to keep it out of those settings. Adams County Public Health Administrator Jared Welch says the best way to get control of the virus is to wear a mask. Not only do I have the benefit of uh, when I wear a mask being responsible and not spreading germs, um, data is starting to show that my mask is also protecting me from other people's germs. But Quinn's attorney says their suit isn't about whether masks work. The legislative branch of government, the P branch, they're the ones that make those rules. He says administrative bodies like the Quincy Public School Board don't have the power to require masks, even though the requirement is based on the Illinois State Board of Education's guidelines. They now need to come into a courtroom and explain to a judge or that school district, that administrative body, where do they get the power to tell a citizen of this state that their minor child cannot attend that school building, cannot enter that school building to receive an education inside that building unless it follows these general compulsory rules. QPS Superintendent Roy Webb declined an interview about the lawsuit, but did issue a statement on Facebook saying he's following the advice of medical and educational experts. As for the spread of the virus in our community, Welch says what happens now is up to us. Now it becomes much more imperative for um, us not to just have a public health response, but a community level response says he knows there is a segment of the population for which wearing masks does pose a legitimate medical concern. He says the health department is working with medical providers to figure out a suitable alternative while everyone else wears masks. Live in Quincy, I'm Blake Salmon, WGEM News. Okay, Blake, thank you. A little more information as well. You heard in that story from Quinn's attorney, Thomas DeVore, you may have recognized him, and for good reason, he recently filed a lawsuit on behalf of Representative Darren Bailey against Governor J.B. Pritzker, accusing him of abusing his emergency powers with his stay-at-home order. As for this lawsuit, you can find Quinn's full lawsuit in its entirety at WGEM.com.